have deep band against them. Dude, I hate Double Little Mac. That is such an irritating team. Oh, it's just so intimidating all the time. Waddle, um, just. <laughs> all right, we're getting right into it. Um, all right, game one. Yeah, so we're going to see Goose hit and run style go in there with uh, Waddle's really technical style. Yeah. And just, I'm wondering um, how, I mean, obviously, like, it works very well together, and you can see that immediately, like, Goof is covering Waddle. If Waddle gets caught in, like, uh, some up tilts, Goof just goes in there, dash attacks, and since Sonic is so fast, he can't really get punished, can Exactly. He? And what's nice, like, one of the big, like, factors into defeating the Double Little Mac-style uh, team is that you need to methodically just, like, pick them apart. You cannot let them bunch up together because the moment you give one Little Mac breathing room, the other one's going to come in just like that, where, like, oh, hey, you are le you left me open. I'm going to try and get this uh, a B kill. Yeah, and you just saw Waddle try to go up there on the spring. She's just going to do some, like, you know, straight up amazing stuff and then just get up there for it. Yeah, exactly. It's This this team is one of the most frustrating to just play against in general. Yeah, I mean, you're always in the danger zone against Mac. But even right now, um, Little Macs are down in stock counts. It's uh, yep. five to four stocks right now. Uh, Goof doing a really good job of just... Uh, using these down tilts just uh, to pick apart the team and break them up, send them into knockback and tumble so they don't have to worry about that KO punch. And Waddle doing a really good job of just edge guarding. Yeah, Waddle is making sure, like, he's, his focus has been to disrupt uh, Little Max on their attempt at recovering. Uh, Fox is one of the very few people who can actually contest the uh, Little Mac up B when it's uh, coming from beneath them, simply yeah. because his up tilt does reach down low enough. And Sonic can also do the same thing because Spring is annoying. Not only does it, wow, they're already down to their last stocks. Goof has yet to lose a stock. Wa oh, jeez. Just like that, they're, uh, the Little yeah, Mac are uh, some down We're seeing systematic destruction amount. right yeah. now. And that's like one thing that uh, Black Tax and I did not, definitely did not have when we were playing against them. We were looking like some slobs. But um, Goof just losing his first stock. Waddle also taking a down smash. Tone Def has got to play very smart. He can't make a single mistake, and so far he's he's got KO Punch online, so there could be another stock right there. Lose KO Punch. Goof sends him off stage, hits him with a back air. He's going to have to recover low. I'm surprised I didn't see a spring from Goof. Mm -hmm. Ooh, All right. He forward tilted in the back throw. Yeah, the blue team right now, they're just... Like, it's that systematic destruction yeah. we're talking about. They, um, they, neither of them go in, but when they do, they're always going in and swinging and hitting. Yeah, and one thing I do like about them is that they're going in, like they're approaching, which is like smart to do, and they're just approaching with shield because they know the little max. They're just going to uh, retaliate there we with go. some type of uh, magic for sense for uh, for blue team there. Nope. All right, so the blue team takes game one pretty solidly. So yeah, how good. will the double Mac respond? Because uh, waiting in the uh, waiting for the this the winner of this set is uh, I believe Lions and Hawk. Yeah, and I that's such they, a tough team. They didn't make the upset over uh, Ray, right? Yeah, no, they didn't. That's sad. Um, but yeah, like they've really got to watch out for that bait and punter style of Goof and um, Waddle style. Just com they like Waddle and Goof styles both complement each other very, very well. Yeah, and it looks like they have a lot a lot of team synergy that you wouldn't expect for people that are teaming for the first time ever. Mm -hmm. And they didn't practice at all before this event. They just showed up and they're like, all right, you ready? Yep. And that's really impressive. They made this good of a run. Yep. And the counter pick of Town City, definitely a wise choice here by the uh, Double Mac team. This is probably Little Mac's best or second best stage. Um, I actually think it is his best simply because the stage does have the lower ceiling and during most points that this stage is just like uh, FD. FD. Yeah. Uh, but another thing you have to worry about though is um, the fact that it's got lower ceiling, so Fox is up there, he's gonna kill earlier. Uh, you can get Spring Road by Sonic easier. Um, there's just gonna be some jank on both sides here. Though. Yeah, definitely. Oh, nice up air. Yeah. Sonic's uh, back air is deceptive. It's, it's so good. And it stays up for like half a year. Yeah, it's probably one of the best back airs in this game, especially because of how useful it is at uh, 
creating uh, offstage pressure. Yeah, it just stays out for so long. Doesn't have a weak hitbox. Oh, wow. I can't believe Goof uh, died to that f tilt there. Like, he, it looked like he shifted his hitbox just enough to make that work. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, it looks like Red Team's definitely made an adjustment. They're, uh, they're ahead in stocks. It seems almost like a reverse of the first match. And Joe Cool still is just, like, throwing out that KO punch. Yeah, Joe Cool. He's got a, he's had a pretty low uh, accuracy on the uh, KO punch. Yeah, and the little backs are just now losing a stocks as um, Waddle's on his last stock and Goof is on his second. Um, so I'm really liking how Red Team is splitting up the two blue team players right now yeah. and not letting them use that team surgery they had in game one. Uh, I definitely think that uh, blue team needs to run it back to its roots really and uh, avoid these 2v1s here. And Waddle's just getting carted up by those up He's yeah. gotten hit by a few this this match. Now you can tell Goof, he's just looking, trying to find a way to uh, get a grab and just get one of these Lil Max off stage. He's, looking, he's been looking for spring kills. Oh, Ooh. that's a double kill. Waddle just, uh, ugh, yeah. I don't know what just went wrong there. Um, but Goof can bring this back. Uh, Sonic has that perk of, uh... <laughs> All right, and I uh, believe it is. Sonic has that ability just to be really, really elusive, and it can tilt players. Yep. And Goof is pretty good at, uh... Yeah, he's a fairly aggressive Sonic, uh, but... He'll play Camby if he needs to, and that's exactly what he's doing right now. Um, he's going in for edge guard. Should have gone for the spring. <laughs> oh no! Goof. Town and city strikes again. He had the rug pulled right from under him. Yep. All right, we're going into game three, last match here of loser semis. Winner makes money. Uh, is essentially how this works. Uh, I think actually both these players are guaranteed. Waseda? Okay. All right, I got to sign off. I got to go play my Waseda singles, so I'll catch you guys later. All righty. Gushi? No, oh, Gushi's not listening either. All right, I'm all by my lonesome. Um... Some deep, thoughtful faces coming up from uh, Red Team over there. Do they want to stay double Little Mac? Um, I know Tone Def has a Robin, I want to say. Uh, Waddle has a DDD. Oh. Great sportsmanship from both uh, teams right now. All right, immediately what, uh, what's going on here with uh, Blue Team is they're just going to platform camp, it looks like, for most of this match. Um, and Goof coming in there with almost an SD. Uh, Fox, uh, Goof and Waddle can't split up at all during this match, but it uh, looks like Joe Cool already lost his first stock, uh, and now they're just going to sit there and platform camp, and they're going to play a shameless game here. They're bouncing around. They're not really willing to uh, to engage, and they're playing smart, that's for sure. Goof catching a great forward smash read on Tone Def there, as uh, Waddle sits there and, I want to say, gets jabbed by, uh, by Tone Def. Ooh, the uh, the spin dash to footstool coming out from Goof, uh, as uh, Waddle gets up smash into death. The Little Mac team has really great team synergy, and the fact that they can um, sit here and just come back from a lot of things just because of like forward throw and up smash, or uh, just their team combos of a double Little Mac team are just separately strong. Um, always end with a lot of kill power, or at the very least, a lot of uh, damage. Uh, but it looks like Waddle and Goof are really trying to uh, apply some shield pressure to Tone Def. Uh, rather than going for like a, a grab or anything, uh, they're both uh, jabbing and or spin dashing onto the shield, and uh, Waddle got punished for it. Good spring by Goof. Oh. 
What I want to see uh, more from Red Team here is uh, them covering each other a little bit more. Uh, Red Team's definitely doing a good job with damage output, but unfortunately they're not um, covering each other's bases as well because Goof is just um, really just going out there and uh, always having almost one little Mac off stage at all times. There's a one KO punch online for I think Tone Def right now. And Joe Cool knocks out his teammates. Uh, and Goof uh, finished uh, what uh, Joe Cool just started. Is Goof about to go for a spring ride? He takes it. That's a kill confirmed on this map only. Goof's still at three stocks, so it could be a solid four stock for uh, Waddle and Goof here. Now, I'm not sure if this is a best of five or a uh, best of three, but um, if it is, uh, Tone Def has to be really careful and just gets his, um, wow, just punching Goof in the face and then gets forward smash. So good games to uh, both teams there. Uh, and a small pop-off from Waddle. Um, they're taking a 2-1 over the double Little Mac team, and they're guaranteed fourth place now, third place.